Miss Elizabeth. I have struggled in vain and I can bear it no longer. These past months have been a torment. I came to Rosings with the single object of seeing you. I had to see you. I have fought against my better judgment, my family's expectation, the inferiority of your birth, my rank and circumstance, all these things, and I'm willing to put them aside and ask you to end my agony. I don't understand. I love you. Good day, Mr. Darcy. Good day, Miss Bennet. How are you doing? I'm excellent, fine. How are you? Good. And hello, friends. Hello, ladies and gentlemen. We hope you're all very well. We say hello from Burley House today. And this is the second part of our Jane Austen trip. Yeah. And Burley House was used in Pride and Prejudice in the 2005 adaptation. Yes, it was used as the Rosings, Rosings the yes. house of Lady Catherine de Berg. Yeah, it's an amazing house. Yeah. And you know what? I think we will tell you more about the story itself as we go along, the history of the house, yeah. just a little bit. But we just want you to enjoy the gorgeous house and our Bride and Prejudice trip. Yeah. <laughs> Okay, let's go inside the house first because we booked a time slot and it's quite extraordinary. A couple of rooms were used for the film. This is the bar room at Burley House and it was used as a dining room in the 2005 adaptation with Kira Knightley, Matthew McFadden and Judy Dench. Has your governess left you? We never had a governess. No governess. Five daughters brought up at home without a governess. I never heard such a thing. Mm. Your mother must have been quite a slave to your education. Not at all, Lady Catherine.
Now, the next room will be the so-called heaven room, and that was used in Pride and Prejudice as a drawing room of Lady Catherine the Burke's rosings, and it is big and quite heavenly, really beautiful. So you are Elizabeth Bennet? I am, Your Ladyship. Hmm. We're in the garden now, and I think you wanted to say something about the real owner of yeah, Burley House. Yeah. The house was built by William Cecil yes. Burley. Yeah. He was Lord of the Treasury yes. and the Queen Elizabeth I. Yes. So one of the most powerful men. One of the most powerful men, yes. Yeah. yeah. And this house was built in around about 1570. It took 32 years to build. Yeah. And I really love the Elizabethan style. I think it looks so impressive and you can really sense that there was power. Yes, this man was rich <laughs> and he had power. Yes, yeah? You, yeah, you can just sense it. Yeah. It's a beautiful house, but it's like this is not only a stately home. To me, this is a palace. Yes, and it's, I think it's a house to show, look who I am. Yeah. True. As soon as you walk into this garden, you realise that this is not a typical formal garden that you would normally expect. No, it is a sculpture garden. Yeah, it's very different, but very interesting. Yeah. Because this is our second time here, Lion Bridge, where you have the most amazing view towards the house. It's closed. Yeah, yeah. I think they had a fair last week here. Yeah. <laughs> uh, and so the area was closed. So the same as last time. Yeah. Which is a bit sad. And Jörg, yeah, we shouldn't forget to mention, because that's something interesting to know. Yeah. When you buy a ticket for the house, it's valid for 12 months. So you can come back as many times as you want. Yeah. So that's good. Yes, because 
You can always discover something new here. Yes, the house is so big. There's so much art and yeah. little objects that you can discover yeah. new stuff. And you can focus or you can focus on a room and just yeah. enjoy the room. Yeah, that's true. I think they do have a bit of a formal garden behind the house, but it's private. <laughs> Coming back to Pride and Prejudice, in case you haven't watched the 2005 adaptation, Kira Knightley is Elizabeth Bennet and Judy Dench is Lady Catherine the Berg. Really worth watching. We will link it for you down below in the info box. And Jörg and I are quite excited, so stay tuned because we are staying at a real Pride and Prejudice filming location. Yes. A location which they used in the film from 1995. Yes. The famous one with Colin Firth. You know, that's actually our favourite version. Yeah. Or adaptation. It's so nice. Standing in front of T Old Rectory, used as a filming location for Pride and Prejudice with Jennifer Ailey and Colin Firth. Yeah. And you will be surprised, the drawing room that they used is, well, the wallpaper is still the yeah. one they used yeah. back then. And yeah, quite exciting. Yeah, and we're in. Sleeping in, in Elizabeth Bennett's room. Yes, in Lizzie's room. <laughs> Let's have a look. This is the house and it's really nice. So we're staying in Lizzie's room. Come on in. And what you should know is, and that makes me so excited, in the drawing room, Mr. Darcy made his first marriage proposal. And, well, Lizzie wasn't really pleased. 